Why, hello, everybody! My name is Python, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python. So, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We are back in our cozy living room. It's snowing outside, guys, and it is a lovely time. Now, I'll tell you what else is a lovely time is the idea that I have actually done quite a lot since the last episode. I kind of decided, oh, hey, instead of doing multiple building episodes in a row, because I know some of you guys aren't that much of a fan of building episodes, uh, I actually decided to go ahead and make a couple more builds off camera. Now, sadly, you can't see it on this map because the build would be, like, up here. Uh, but, yeah. Trust me, guys. I've made some serious progress. So, we're going to spend the first part of today's episode going ahead and checking out the new buildings. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go ahead and try and find the brand new Tiger, Tiger, whatever the heck you want to call that biome village because we haven't found one yet and i think it'd be a nice idea to do so so guys let's go and check out the new building so as well as the new buildings i've also gone ahead and put down the foliage all over the place as my voice cracks but yeah i've put down foliage all over the place and honestly guys this town is starting to look absolutely fantastic so you might even be able to see a couple of the buildings and that is the buildings i did since the last episode so Again, we're going to follow this place around, and once again, you can see the foliage is all over the place. We've even got some spare lampposts in, because some parts were still fairly dark, and I decided I didn't really want to have uh, hostile mob spawning around here. So this is the first of two buildings that we went ahead, or that I went ahead and built since the last episode. And uh, I also decided to put some doors on here and light this place up, because there was a whole bunch of mob spawning down there and coming up and trying to kick my butt. But as you can see, I haven't died yet, my friends. I'm still at one and a half hearts. So that's pretty cool. But guys, check it out. We got ourselves the first of two buildings here. And this one I've kind of dubbed the processing hut. You know, we got ourselves some blast furnaces here to process the ores. And we've got some smokers here to process any food. And I decided that it might be a nice idea to have ourselves like ore storage and valuable storage and food storage in here. I think it'd be a nice idea. And at the very least, you know, it does look pretty cool. Like, the interior looks pretty okay. It looks like a functional place where people would go to do stuff, which is always nice to see. Now, the second building is just a house, basically. You can see we've got ourselves a nice little light going on there. We've got the pet polar bear outside here. But as we head inside, my friends, look at this. It's sort of a... It's a two-story building, but it's kind of like an overhang two-story building in that we have ourselves like a lower uh, utility area down here with chests and flower pots everywhere crafting table, furnaces, all sorts of stuff. And then we head upstairs and we got ourselves a bed uh, with a nice little storage area over there as well. So basically... You know, both of these builds are mostly just for aesthetic purposes, but if we wanted to, you know, give them some sort of purpose, then we could, and it'll be pretty easy. But guys, check it out. We start heading around. You can see we've got berries and all sorts of foliage again all over the place just to make this place look a little bit better. And as you can see, things are looking good on the inside here as well. So if we head upstairs, we do actually have some harvest now, which is always nice to see. Got some carrots in there. Uh, got some wheat and wheat seeds. And of course some melon slices that is right my friends at long freaking last i can make myself some health potions yeah and i think that's going to be a great idea going forward because like i say i don't really want to be going ahead and uh, dying not with 22 levels i mean i want to get myself back up to 30 levels so i can enchant again that would be absolutely fantastic so Anyways, guys, we're going to head up here. Uh, do we have any gold left? Uh, yes, we got a good amount of gold. That's absolutely fantastic. So, make those into gold nugs. And there's the glistering melons. So, all we need to do is grab out some various other things. Do we have any glowstone by any chance? I've got a nasty feeling we actually don't. Yeah, we don't have any uh, glowstone. Hmm, well, that could be an issue because glowstone would mean that the health potions would regenerate uh, two, uh, sorry, four hearts per time, right? So, yeah. And also, we need some other stuff as well. Alrighty, guys, to be honest with you, I think there's only one logical place to put this nether portal, and that is going to be down here. That is right, my friends. So, uh, let's go and get this thing placed down now. Uh, one thing I will say is I'm not entirely sure if we're far enough to the point where we will wind up generating a new portal in the nether. I think we may wind up in the same portal that's at the jungle campsite. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know is the simple fact of the matter. I don't know how many blocks away in the overworld you need to be in order to generate a new portal. But I guess that's something we'll find out later down the line. Or more to the point, now. Because we don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, no, this is a different portal. 
This is definitely a different portal. Okay, so we've generated a brand new portal in the nether. Uh, okay, well, that's interesting to say the very least. The question is, is there a fortress around here that I could get blaze rods from? Well, there's the glowstone. There's plenty of that around, but uh, I don't see any sign of a fortress. Right, anyways, guys, we've been to the nether before plenty of times. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this thing done. And I'll meet you guys back at base once we've got some potions done. Oh no, oh no. Damn it! There was a hidden place! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, that's just put a spanner in the works, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that, that went really well, didn't it? Okay, well, anyways, I guess, uh, you know, we can get ourselves back in there fairly easily. Uh, if we get ourselves some armor and a shield, we've got plenty of iron. Ah, oh, jeez, man. Another freaking world's lagging. Yay, server style lag on single player ones. You'll love to see it, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta be super quick. Gotta be super quick. They're gonna start poofing in any minute. All right, go on. All right, did we get any blaze rods, like, at all? We haven't got a single blaze rod. Unbelievable. I'm actually in awe right now. I'm really surprised we haven't got a single blaze rod. Oh, no! How does that even happen? Uh-oh. Okay. Take two. Oh, God! Okay, uh... Whoop. There we go. Get wrecked! That, that one's about to shoot! That one's about to shoot! Not cool. No, there's another one! There's three! I just want one blaze rod! One! I just want one! Okay, uh, maybe a spawner isn't the way to go. The spawner is not the way to go. Shot that, screw that, to the highest degree. We're going through this fortress and seeing if we can get one by itself. I'm not doing a spawner. Absolutely not. Wait, what the heck is this? How does, how does this even work, bro? I'm very confused. Very confused. So there's a sheltered area there, but it actually doesn't go to a sheltered area. Oh, you'll love to see that. Oh, great. Yeah, brilliant. Ah! All right, here we go. Another one. Got another arrow. What, another one? Yep, got a third. Oh, you can't go up. What am I supposed to do if you go up, huh? Nope. All right, there's a blade one. There's a blade one. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. All right, we're good. We're good. We're getting out of it. Getting the hell out of here. All right, we've got... Wait, is this guy up top? I might actually be able to take him out if he's up top here. Hello? Oh, I bet there's another spawn up there. I bet you money there's another spawn up here. Wait, is that a double? Oh, okay. Yep, 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 yep. We're done. We're done. We're getting out of here. I ain't doing this anymore. We're getting out of here. No. No. Oh, hold on a minute, guys. So, question. Do we actually need the nether war in order to make ourselves instant health potions? Or can a glistering melon go ahead and do it immediately? I'm really hoping so because otherwise I'd have to go back to that nether fortress and I really don't want... Oh. Well, uh, I learned something new every day. I now know how to make mundane potions. Not even sure what exactly they're supposed to be used for. But oh well. Uh, oh, oh god, we need nether wards. I need to go back to the nether. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So since that first nether fortress was such a disappointment, not only in death, but also the fact that sheltered area did not have any nether wards, I've actually had to go ahead and find another one. So yes, this is a second nether fortress. Again, it's actually not that far away from my nether portal, which is lucky. I... Oh, that's not lucky. I ain't okay with that. I don't want that. I don't want that in my life there, broski. I want to find myself the sheltered area so I can get myself some uh, stuff. Hey, that looks pretty good. All right, well, uh, let's get up here real quick. Let's see if there's anything going on. Uh, hmm. We're looking for the sheltered... Oh, that... Okay. Hello. No! Ooh. You, sir, are playing with fire. Boom! Wrecked. Absolute destruction. Right, did you drop a blaze rod? Of course he didn't. That's just how we roll, isn't it? Oh, God. 
Oh, God. I can hear loads of things going on. I don't like this. I just want to find nether wards and get the hell. You've got to be kidding, right? This can't be the only sheltered area there is. Surely not. We can't have two nether fortresses that don't have nether warts in them. That just isn't possible, bro. Well, guys, I've got to be honest. I've been recording for such a long time now. And this is just a get freaking potions. This is just absolute insanity. But guys, check it out. A third fortress. <sighs> now, the good news is this one isn't actually that far away from the first fortress we discovered. So I decided to go ahead and make a staircase. So there's the first one. You can see the nether bricks down there. And there's the third one. And what I'm hoping for, of course, uh, once again, is a nice sheltered area. Oh, that's, that's a wither skeleton. Oh, that guy is like... Oh, he wants me. He wants... Oh, God. Oh, there's a small army down there. Hang on a minute. Can I, like, get in here? Will I be... Okay. Yeah, well, we're in the sheltered area. I guess that's a plus. Um, oh, and there's the... There's the warts. But sadly, we've got lava to contend with. There's always something, isn't there, guys? There's always bleeding something. Ah, oh, jeez, man. Right, can I get away with doing that and then that? Is that possible? Yeah, that seems to have held it. Hey, we're looking good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This has been the most stressful nether trip I think I've ever had. Like, this is honestly insane. Right now, of course, we're going to pick up some of this so we can start growing the bleeding stuff. But aside from that, we're looking pretty good, guys. So, yeah. What I'll do is get out of it. Oh, run, run, run. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Uh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Oh! Oh, that was a little bit close there, buddy. Oh. Come on. With a skeleton skull. I don't like that guy. That guy is going to give me some serious anxiety. Okay. Okay, right. Go, 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 go. I don't know why I stalled. 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 I'm such a dumbass. Oh, God. Oh, look at these cute little fellas thinking they can take me down. Oh, goodbye. Come on. Give me some ender balls. That's what I'm looking for. Come on. Come on. Wow. You know what? This is... This nether trip has been so stressful, and we've got so little out of it. Like, unbelievably small amount of stuff's out of it. Like, I think we only got one blazer from all of the blazers that we actually killed. Oh, and then we get no ender pearls at all. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. So, I guess the real question I have to ask myself at this point was, was that all worth it? Was that all worth it? The death nearly dying again. Eh, yeah, mostly. It's been worth it because now I have the ability to make myself quite a lot of instant health potions. And also, uh, you know, we've got the glowstone, we've got the nether warts, we've got the ability to grow nether warts as well, which is very, very nice. Now, let's go ahead and drink two of these and that will give us maximum health, which is uh, very nice. We'll get you placed in there and look at that. We've got four more instant health two potions. Woo! All right. Well, uh, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to head back to the jungle campsite. Because for those of you guys unaware or you can't remember, there was, in fact, a tiger biome right next to the jungle biome, right? So it might be a nice idea to go ahead and explore more of the tiger biome to see if we can find ourselves one of the brand new tiger villages. Because I want to see how they're looking these days, my friends. I want to see how they're looking. So, yeah, it's about time we did some exploring and not dying and uh, screaming like a little girl. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys, let's get to a tiger biome. Let's see what's going on. Well, would you look at that? I've not been to this place in a fair while, huh? Hello, pandas. How y'all doing? Oh, look at this place. Oh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Oh, yes, it has. Right. We need to figure out where east is because that's where I remember the tiger biome being. Uh, where's the sun right now? Is that going up? Uh, no, it's going down. So that's the west, which means this is the east, which means the tiger biome is over here. And hopefully it's a big one because if not, then that would be disappointing. I mean, I think if that's the case, then I'll just continue exploring until I find another one. Tiger biomes are not that difficult to find. They really aren't. So I think if we just keep exploring, we'll find another one fairly easily and hopefully a brand new village. So yes, let's keep going, folks. Whoa. Hey, I found some of the new flowers as well. Are these the corn flowers? Let's have a look. Oh, Lily of the Valley. Wow. I've never seen these before. Huh. Okay. Well, I mean, don't mind if I do. I'll take them. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Aha. I told you, my friends, if we keep going, we'll just find another tiger biome. So, yeah, we've gone through the forest. 
And uh, we're in a new tiger biome here. Question is, is there going to be a village? Oh! I really hope so. Hey, that didn't actually hurt me. Thank you, armor. I appreciate it there, broski. Uh, right, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. Are we going to find ourselves a village in here? I mean, this seems to be a fairly large biome. Seems to be larger than the one that's near our jungle anyway. So, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm hoping. I'm hoping for the best, of course. Because if not, then uh, we're going to go home very, very disappointed, aren't we? Uh, so, how's about... It might be a good idea to go up to, like, a high place or something. And just sort of have a bit of a look around. Uh, can't really see many high pla... Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute! There's... Wait. Is that an old style one? Why is that old style? Is that old style? It looks like an old style tiger biome. What? Oh, tiger village more to the point. Yeah, I'm in 18W50A. I absolutely swear to God I've not explored this place before. How is that possible? We've got ourselves an old style village. I'm very confused. I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's check out the chest because I guess there's a possibility we have already explored it. No, there's like iron ingots and everything in here. What the heck? I don't understand, man. How is this even possible? They've even got the new trades. Huh. I know, huh. Interesting. I'm very confused right now. I don't know why this is an old style tiger village. But hey ho, we've got ourselves a library building. Might as well take the bookshelves. <laughs> uh, it's not a wasted journey after all, huh? Oh, look that. There's even more. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> hey, can you see that way in the background over there, my friends? That is a new style tiger village. I'm really confused as to why that other one was not the new style one because... That was still like, I mean, I'm guessing at this point, I'm still guessing that's like a thousand plus blocks away from, uh, you know, the jungle. So I'm really, really confused. Like, I could have sworn that I have not generated those chunks before. So, you know, the question has to be asked, you know, what the heck? <laughs> oh dear. Anyways, guys, we found it. Look at that. Yeah, look at this. We've got a so Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Two grindstones? Oh, dude. You know what we gotta do, don't you? You know what we gotta do. We gotta start pillaging. We're the pillagers. So, yeah, I'm gonna take the chest. I'm gonna take one of those. I'm gonna leave one behind just in case we wind up coming back. Uh, but let's check out the rest of it. We've got berries all over the place. We've got crops here, which is very, very nice. Oh, dude. I love how they're organically shaped now. I think that's absolutely fantastic. And I love the fact that there's a lot of logs used in the buildings here. I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, look at that. They've even got full-on chairs with signs. Oh, dude. That is so cool. That is actually so cool. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so let's go up here real quick. Let's see what else is going on. Uh, oh, cool. Little grindstone log facility uh, thing. That's pretty cool. Hey, we got a bell, guys. Oh, look at that. It even makes a sound. Well, you know what we've got to do, guys. You're coming with me there, buddy, because I don't think we can make the bell yet. So, yeah, I'm going to go and just nab it. I'll nab another one of these because why not? Uh, whoa. Holy moly. Look at that. We've got a full portal's worth of obsidian in one chest. Wow. That's incredible. Okay. But anyways, look at this. We've got so many things going on. Oh, look at this guy. We've got a librarian who's got Riptide 2. Eh, that's a bit crummy. I'm not going to be going ahead and training with you there, gentlemen. Uh, so let's go around here. Is there anything in this one? Ooh. Hey, we've got the ability to make ourselves a bunch of arrows. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of tempted to do that. Uh, well, that doesn't have any ability, sadly, just yet. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put this down and make myself some arrows. There you go. So we're now up to nine. I guess that's better than none, right? Uh, we'll take the chest as well. Kind of tempted to take this because eventually it will have functionality added to it. So it only makes sense that we take it uh, so we can, you know, use it back at base, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, it seems that there's plenty of other places to explore. We've got this one over here. What is this? This seems to be a stone cutter. I'm going to nab that as well. Yeah, not bad. All right. Uh, what about over here? Any more buildings? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. There's even a floating torch. Ah, oh, amazing. Okay, right. Uh, there is another thing over here. I think this might be another fletching area. Yeah, it is. Hey, not bad. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it because, I mean, if not, 
if it isn't going to be used at the winter time, then we can use it back at the jungle camp, right? Makes sense. Oh, yeah. Okay, right. Any more buildings to speak of? We've got this large building here. Oh, whoa. Wow. Okay, there's like a whole bunch of bookshelves. Look at this. We can make ourselves another enchanting setup if we so wish. And in addition to that, we've got ourselves some uh, some sprucey type uh, loot, which is pretty cool. Uh, even a spruce sign as loot. Interesting. Right, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave that stuff behind. I'm not too fussed about it. Oh, it's time to go to sleep. And, well, you know, we've got beds in here. Minecraft went to the effort of generating them for me, so I might as well use them. <laughs> ah, awesome stuff, guys. All right, let's go out of this door. Ow! Can you, like, not? That actually kind of hurts there some. Uh, oh, wait. That seems to go up even higher. I need to try and get up there. I want to see what's going on. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. There's got to be more stuff going on, man. There's got to be more stuff going on. Yep, there is yet another building around here. Awesome stuff. What are you? You are a fisherman. Awesome. Okay, so does that mean there's a fisherman place nearby? Hey, a house on stilts. What is this? Oh, potatoes. Awesome. I'll take them. I'll take some potatoes. Uh, right, goodbye, sticks. You were good while you lasted. Right, and we've got ourselves another thing down here. Dude, these houses are actually so awesome. Like, I'm really, really happy with how the revamped villages look. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I don't think I could get down there without hurting myself. I may... Ah. Uh... It's not even like I can go and put water down. I don't have any on me. Well, Python, you really outdid yourself this time. Can I... Oh! Jeez, man. That was some dangerous parkour right there. All right, well, uh, let's check out this building down here. There appears to be like a little farm down here as well. But yo, there's no animals in it though. That's a bit sad. All right, well, oh, dude, looms in here as well. We've already got looms, but I'm still kind of tempted to take one. All right, goodbye, Flint. I'll take a loom. Thank you. All right, uh, any other buildings? I mean, this is a pretty sizable village, it has to be said. Uh, is this the end, though? Yeah, that looks like it's the end. Okay, well, yeah, I think that's just about it for that particular village. Uh, we need some food. Yes, we can no longer sprint. That's kind of a problem, isn't it? All right, well, there we go, my friends. Got ourselves a uh, tiger village, and i got to say, it's looking pretty good, isn't it? I'm really, really happy with it. Yeah. Awesome. Alrighty, folks, and after a fairly considerable amount of time, we are finally back at base to end off the episode with the comment question of the video. I had to come all the way back here because, well, I lost my original comment question of the video book in the nether when I died, so uh, that was a thing. So yeah, anyways, guys, Home Creation asks, Python, are you going to leave the ice biome after December? Uh, yes, pretty simply, yes. Uh, after December is finished, we will, of course, be going back to our jungle campsite area to go ahead and work a bit more on that but as i've said before this is supposed to be an in air quotes endless let's play right so next december in 2019 we will probably probably wind up back here to expand upon this place a lot more i'm not entirely sure yeah i mean obviously you know next december is a long way away but for now yeah after december we'll be going back to the jungle biome to get some more builds done and it's gonna look fantastic oh jeez you silly berry bush and python if we're going into the berry bush Dang it, man. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. We're going to wrap it up there. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to drop a big fat thumbs up. But it mean the world to me if you did. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But that's going to wrap it up for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.